Hello on YouTube, welcome to a, a video. We're gonna do something different today. This is gonna to be a, a video log, a, a vlog. It's quite popular on, on YouTube and on the internet. A lot of people are doing videos like this where if they're doing something, they'll, they'll show you and you get to be a part of the day. Well, that's what we're doing today. I know, a bit of a mind blown moment, but we're actually doing something because today should be the day that we get Chuck CG running and hopefully driving. Um, we've changed the engine. There was a problem with the engine that was installed into originally. We've swapped the engine out. We've swapped all the good bits off the engine onto the new one. I'll show you some more inside, but at the minute we're just painting the valve cover because we need to paint the valve cover first, get the valve cover swapped across and then, yeah, there's, there's, there's quite a lot going on. All right, so the motor's back in the EG. I don't think it was in uh, on the last video. So there's the old engine. It's missing some bits and it is a bit of a mess as well. So uh, yeah, mind that. But Josh came up last weekend and swapped the timing chain over. We swapped the sump as well. Um, everything else is... Yeah, well, it's back in now. You know, we've got the gear cables back on, the fuel's in. Um, what else do we need to do on the engine? We need to get the wiring in, that wiring there. We need to put a battery back on the car, um, finish off the engine mounts because this bolt went walkabout. So I'll try and find that. Um, put some fluids back in it and see if it'll start. And this valve cover, we need to change this. This is the valve cover of death. Um, but if you come over here, look. Oh, Volvo going today. Sad times. Ignore the mess, it's a art mess. I've not, not really had a chance to tidy up for ages. But we're um, redoing the valve cover. You might have seen this valve cover last weekend. It was white, but um, it's been stripped and it's going very high temperature paint. Um, wrinkle red. So I mean, this is just like a generic wrinkle red, so hopefully it's not too red. Uh, to get the Honda OEM red, it's always a bit darker than any of these cans, but hopefully it'll look all right. Is it wrinkle? It definitely, I thought it was wrinkle. It's meant to be wrinkle, isn't it? Fuck knows, maybe. Well, imagine if it's not wrinkle. I thought it was. Well, we'll find out anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're just going to put some primer on this. Um, so obviously this is going to take a while to cure. A couple of coats of primer on it, and then the paint. And while we're doing that, we'll get the engine hopefully running. So it should drive today. It's not driven for a while. It's been it's been sat here. Because the engine went and then a few months went by and it's just sat here chilling. But yeah, today could be the return of the Red EG. Uh, valve cover's all primed now. Uh, for reference, this is obviously not a guide, but just some, some metal primer. Good job. Uh, the EG is nearly... Well, what have we done? We've done, we've done quite a lot, but it looks the same. Oh, just like getting all the water pipes off and the battery on and little bits, air fleets, all that jazz. Right, it's time for his first coat of paint. At least maybe wrinkle, maybe not. We're probably thinking not now. We've both read the can a couple of times. It was like it was wrinkle in the shop when we bought it, but it turns out it might not be. Right, that's the top coat down on the uh, valve cover, or the first coat. Uh, just did a bit of rummaging around in all that rubbish I've got, and look what I found. Got some uh, some VHT wrinkle red. So I think what I'll do is, because there's not, there's not that much after that, it's probably about a third of a can or something. So I'll give it another one of these after, and then we'll do a final coat, a third coat, and the wrinkle stuff, and hopefully we'll have at least a little bit of wrinkle. You know, some little crow's feet in the corner of its eyes or something like that, just a little bit, just to get us started. So I've just made a start getting the suspension back on on this side and get the drive shaft back in on that. As you can see this is how it looks on this side. Oh, look at that brake line. Oh, don't worry, there's no tension on it. Well, maybe a little bit, but not enough. Not enough to cause concern. It was a bit of a twat to get this out because all these are new bushes. And uh, this steering rack's new as well. This is off a, a DC2 steering rack. Um, so yeah, I've got all that to try and put on. Obviously the alignment's going to be way out as well because we've changed the steering rack, but... Hopefully we'll be able to get it good enough so we can at least have a quick drive in it today. I'm having slightly second thoughts now on this one. I might do this as the second one because if you look, it's a bit more red than that one. And this is more closer to the uh, factory colour. This uh, this can that we bought that wasn't quite wrinkle red. But this one's a bit, a bit red, you can you see? It's a bit uh, it's a bit like orangey red, whereas this is a this is a proper colour. So well, this is gonna be the middle coat now, which may or may not allow it to wrinkle. And it may or may not completely ruin the job, but you may as well have a go, right? A bit of wrinkle, we've got to have a bit of wrinkle. 
All right, just got the uh, passenger side suspension back together on the EG and uh, forgot to put the drive shaft in first. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do that again. Yeah, just, uh, just put it on just for the laugh really. I kind of enjoy taking things apart and pulling them back together. Yeah, a little bit of a hobby of mine, you know, a bit of pastime. Uh, in other news, I'm about to go with the, yeah, I made a little fuck up there, but it's not, it's, don't worry about it. Gonna go with the rain kill now, so this has had some time to dry, and that, I really like that red, that's, that's a good red, that's the red that we're going for. This is a nice red. Don't so much like this one, so I'm gonna put that in the middle, and we're gonna sandwich it some. <laughs> so, just just to be clear, I, I'm not a painter, I don't, I don't know much about paint. I did the windscreen on that, obviously that was a professional job, so I've got a bit of experience now. Uh, I've done valve covers and wheels before, but I don't know if this will work. This is the original colour, this is what's on it now. So I've done a layer of that, and then I'm gonna go a fucking layer of this wrinkle stuff that I've just found, which is probably about four or five years old, but all good, all good. And then top with that again, and hopefully the red will be more this than this. But let's find out. Experiment, it's like Brainiac, isn't it? Like Sky One show. It went on a bit weird, that wrinkle stuff, especially up here, look. But, you know, maybe it's just doing the wrinklings. You never know. It looks to me like it's gonna come out shite, but uh, it's not my valve cover, is it? So it doesn't really matter. Bet you never thought you'd see them on this channel, did you? Eh? Valve cover's nearly done. So the paint that I found, which is the other one, the wrinkle paint, started uh, going a bit wacky. Where is it? A little bit there. There's a few, there's a few parts where the, the paint didn't quite like being painted onto paint. Or something, I guess. Or maybe it's just that it's been sat there for so long and maybe not want to do it, but. Anyway, that's drying now. It's nearly dry. And the Civic is nearly back together, nearly ready just to put the, the valve cooler on and uh, give it a start, just engine oil and coolant, so that's something as well. So yeah, we're just waiting for the, the valve cover to dry, just touchable dry, so we can at least just place it on and then start dressing the engine around it. Everything else nearly done. So I've just been um, trying to get the steering rack kind of aligned slightly. It's a pain in the ass doing a light by eye. I think I'm gonna get a string kit or something like that. But um, yeah, it's near enough done now. These headlights are nice, aren't they? They're, uh, they're dingy. You can get them from this bloke. I think that's, uh, that's enough. Is that, good, is that a good shout out? I can't even see you for a minute. Yeah. Good. Just did Adam a shout out. Yay. Hey. I've got a bit of an update because uh, the Volvo's gone and uh, took us completely by surprise. Ryan's just been now, he's taking the car on a test drive. Well, I can't show you because he's, he's gone. But uh, yeah, we were looking, we were, get, we were getting this EG, valve cover sorted out. It's Chuck's just doing the final bits too now. And then we can stick the valve cover on. So, so that, that ends in there. And then we should be able to start it, which would be nice. I think we've done, every, we've done everything else. I'm pretty sure, you know, it's, you know, tick box going through, making sure everything's connected, everything's plugged in. Uh, just need to get the valve cover on, get some oil in it, and then we're good. So, excited? Yeah. I don't know whether to vlog this chat when he comes back. Should I vlog him? Chuck, should I vlog him? The guy who's buying the Volvo, do you think he'll want to be on a video? Should I just put the camera in his face? Hey, do you want to be on a vlog? If you're buying a car and you watch the videos, that means you want to be in the vlog, right? <laughs> right, we'll see. Oh, look at that. Ray, rain, rain. Loads of rain. Good car too, looking good. Got some plans for this. Once the uh, once the Volvo goes and the Bangonomics fund is uh, replenished slightly. Got some, uh, well I'm off to see a painter next week because I've got one wing and then a replacement wing for this is 60 quid, obviously unpainted. So I mean, to get the wing sorted out, it's not even gonna be that bad. So, yeah. And I wanna get some, I wanna get some alloys for it if anyone uh, who watches the video has got any 17-inch uh, Avos alloys, you know, the Audi, what are they, 7 or 8 spoke? I can't remember what spoke they are, but the ones that came on the uh, C5 S6 and the B5 S4, the 17-inch Avos alloys, that's what I want to put on it. But, obviously that's not very bangonomics, but I just want to do it. But. 
I don't think someone commented on a, on a the last video saying this guy doesn't really understand bangonomics, and you, you're probably right. But I mean, it's just like the effect of buying a cheap car and just you know it, it being a cheap car, and you don't have to worry about it. That's 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 the good thing about bangonomics that I like, and also not spending a lot of money. Uh, as soon as uh, Ryan's not come back in the T5 yet, we'll just have a look at his stepdad's uh, 407 SW, looking very good. <laughs> All right, maybe he's uh, maybe he's not coming back. Let's uh, go and work on the EG. Maybe he's stolen the Volvo and I get to keep the uh, Peugeot. Be a nice swap, won't it? So have you dressed up for it? Did you have it in mind? Do you think, oh, he might put me on video? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, chat, so this is Ryan with the Volvo. How are you doing? So he's taking the Volvo back to Bolton. He's just had a kid, he's going to be his new family wagon. So uh, hope it treats you well, pal. Yeah, All like your hands. Thank you. Nice one, cheers. So I hope she's good to you, Ryan. Been good to me. Very nice car. Bye-bye. Bye, Volvo. Charles? It's time to do civic things again. Look at that valve cover. Wow! See that from space. Now we had a few, few issues, look, but don't worry. Ooh, what's that? There. As long as it looks good on the gram, bro. Right, it's time to put some oil in the engine, look. And the uh, the posh motor oil that Charlie's bought has come with these instructions and a little funnel and gives you a little rag look to uh, check your oil with after, check the dipstick. And there's another rag there to wash your hands with afterwards. And did it come with the gloves as well, yeah? Oh, yeah. And the gloves, so. Ignore, ignore this, it's fine, don't worry about it. Pretty, pretty good that, eh? Shout out Opie Oil. Uh, was it Motel or Opie Oils that did that though? Opie Oils. Was it? Yeah. Wow. Shout out. Go on, get the golden paw on. Uh, oh. oh. X-rated. Wow. Right, it comes to the moment of truth. We're about to see if the uh, Civic starts or not. Um, hang on, just wait there. We've done everything. Has it got battery power? That's the main thing. Yeah. It's not in gear, is it? No. Uh, wait there, I feel, like, I feel like we should have a checklist. We've put oil in it, everything's plugged in. Well, I don't know, have we got fuel pressure though? Because there's no, no fuel's pissed out yet, and I kind of expected a bit of fuel to piss out. Yeah. Let's see if it'll crank then. There you go. Wow. Honda's. Can you knock it off? Right, it's on, but something doesn't sound very good, does it? Right, we've just finished bleeding the coolant on Chuck's EG, so it's it's fine. We've not found any issues, which is a bit strange, isn't it? I expected. Usually, with the first key, the first turn of the key, you'd expect you know an earth strap to be missing or. You know, the fuel not to be working or anything like that, but yeah, it just, just started straight away and it's just bled, bled the coolant first time straight away as well, which doesn't happen often. So, there's obviously something going to break on its own, but that's enough for today's video. We're going to leave it where it is. Uh, we're going to come back up tomorrow, finish it off, put the bonnet on and take it for a test drive and stuff. So, might do a vlog. Uh, who knows? These video logs, I can get used to this, I think. Maybe I'll start doing more of them. If we've got anything cool to show you. But that's all from today, so bye Chuck, and uh, bye, bye Chuck CG, and bye Volvo. So Volvo obviously you'll not be seeing it again, uh, Ryan's got it, but if you want to follow his Instagram, nah, do you want to follow his Instagram? Do you think people want that? Do you think people like want want their Instagrams and stuff? On. Want to be Instagram famous? Yeah. yeah. Well, not, maybe not Instagram famous, but if you, if you bought a car off someone, would, would you want to see your Instagram on the thing? I think it was private anyway, because I had to request to follow, so I'll just put it anyway. And if you really, if you really, really, really want to keep up with the Volvo, then I guess you can request to follow this chap, and then you'll be able to uh, be able to do that. Goodbye. <laughs>